Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. My name is Ken Tracy and this is Coffee with Ken. It is Sunday morning, it is November 6th, it's 3.41 a.m. <laughs> Happy Sunday. This is a little show I have been doing uh, for quite some time. It is a, a show about me sharing some feelings I'm dealing with, some emotions I'm having some up the ups and downs we all have in life and uh, for those that have been watching a while you know it is a show about me uh, sharing my love of coffee and with that in mind I have a uh, nice hot cup of coffee um, here in front of me and I'm so excited to take my first sip at this early hour speaking of early hour for a guy that goes to bed very early every night and has a hard time sleeping in. Whoever thought up this idea to move the clocks back and make it actually 3.42 a.m. when it feels like it's 4.42 a.m. didn't have me in mind. But anyway, I'm so excited to have my nice hot cup of coffee in front of me. Oh, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, you got a hot cup as well. Cheers to us. Oh, it's the pumpkin spice. I stocked up as I talked about before. I might stock up some more because I do think it's seasonal. And I do think they're going to stop selling it. And it was out at my local Target. So I went to a different Target and bought a bunch more. Bought a couple bags more. I don't think a couple bags is enough for me. Mm. Oh. Anyway, how you guys doing? How you feeling? How'd you sleep? I slept fairly well. Uh, again, I went to bed early. I, uh, it was Saturday night last night. I had a quiet night at home. I was watching a uh, uh, some documentaries on the Revolutionary War. For some, some reason, documentaries I find so helpful when it comes to getting more sleep. There's something about them. They're informative. They're interesting. Uh, the voice of the narrator is usually fairly relaxing, although I watch a lot of war documentaries and the explosions and the noise of the gunfire and the bombs going off sometimes makes it a little more challenging to sleep. But overall, I find them very relaxing and very peaceful and very interesting and very informative and kind of a nice way to uh, unwind my day in a reasonably educational sort of way and drift off to sleep. Somewhere during the night, and it's a bad habit, I admit, uh, a lot of badness in social media. I picked up my phone when I woke up and uh, looked at it, and I saw a vicious, spewing <laughs> hatred attack on me by a person that doesn't know me at all, uh, filled with falsehoods and <laughs> lies and at best half-truths. And it kind of weighed on me a little bit. I was able to fall back asleep and again get back to sleep till a little bit ago. Uh, but I realized... I, kind of, I mean, I've realized it, but I realized it especially uh, end of last week when I reached out to a few friends early in the morning and said, hey, I'm not doing that okay. I'm not feeling okay. Uh, I'm struggling. And first of all, I'm very, very, very blessed and fortunate to have a large group of loving friends uh, that surround me and support me and I know have my back and that I can reach out to at any hour of the night or any hour of the day or whatever. And if they're able, they'll take their, the time to talk to me. I had a good buddy who's busy and uh, successful and I'm sure has his own challenges of his own that I talked to for an hour the other morning um, about my stuff. And we came to the conclusion, I mean, I came to the conclusion just by talking to him that I need that I'm not okay. <laughs> and maybe it's okay to know that you're not okay. And that if you go through trauma and stuff and an amazing, amazing amount of pain over the last few years, uh, maybe it would be abnormal to not hurt, to not suffer, to not struggle, to not feel the pain uh, that a lot of times I, I hate to say I'm feeling. And uh, are we, 
he, go, he at the near the end of our call with my buddy, he goes, well, so what are we, what are you going to do? What, what, you know, and I think I'd worked through a plan and I talked to him before, but I need to talk my stuff out, uh, with somebody that's a professional that is paid to know, uh, what to say, how to respond, how to, who has seen these issues, these struggles, these challenges before and knows how to deal with them uh, from a more clinical standpoint. I, again, I'm fortunate to have a huge group of friends and I also feel God guided me to doing these videos uh, four years ago when the stuff really started getting challenging for me. And uh, um, I started expressing the challenges on a live video and one thing led to another and here I am. On November, November 6th of uh, 2022, still talking. And, uh, you know, I, uh, again, I'm fortunate to have be on the path I'm on, made the choices I have over the last year, made some of the choices. Because, again, I, I've felt pain and I felt struggles and I felt anxiety and I felt sadness and I felt depression a lot of my life. And I was able to cope with it by drugs and alcohol. <laughs> And that's not a healthy way to cope. And I stopped, you know, drinking and uh, smoking pot over a year ago now. And I'm proud of that fact. And I feel good about that. But honestly, as unhealthy as it is, at least it was a coping mechanism. And I used to, and I talked about it before, I used to run cross country and track. And, you know, they're healthy pursuits. And it's good to be in good shape. And it's good to exercise. But again, it's not really dealing with the core pains that I was feeling. And I know I'm not alone. When I say I, I don't mean just me, because I know a lot of people out there have some stuff. And the plan that me and my buddy worked out on our call the other day was for me to reach out, set up an appointment with a therapist and uh, sit down and talk to him uh, for some time. I've, I've met with therapists before. Uh, they've helped at certain periods of my life before. And I think I'm at a more healthy spot, not healthy spot, but more self-aware spot uh, to realize that I, you know, I, I could use some extra help and that I'm not okay and that I go, I'm healing and I'm on the right path and I'm doing the right things, uh, but I'm still hurting inside. And uh, I deserve, we all deserve uh, uh, to be able to let that crap go and leave that stuff behind and leave the bad choices we made in the rear view mirror and let it go and feel good and, you know, smile and move forward and uh, uh, take some time to heal. And I have been in such a hurry to, you know, put out various fires in my life that I haven't really given myself a chance to heal in a long-term healthy fashion. And I'm looking forward to doing that. And I don't know. I'm probably going to leave you with that. It's early. It's 3.50, but it really feels like 4.50. So this isn't really fair. But I still have a lot of coffee in front of me to drink, which I'm excited about. Uh, I probably have enough time to go back to sleep after I drink my coffee and uh, get some extra rest before my day. I'm so looking forward to my day. It's Sunday morning. It's early or late fall. It's almost early winter. We got Thanksgiving coming in a few weeks and which is always my favorite holiday. There's so much to be thankful for in life. Uh, there's so much to be grateful for. And I got a big day ahead of me and I'm looking forward to drinking my coffee, maybe drifting off back to sleep for a while and getting on with my day. So I'm going to leave you with that. I hope you're doing well. Mm. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful Sunday. I hope you are loving yourself. I hope you are forgiving yourself. And uh, as always, I hope to talk to you soon. Bye-bye.